In our lesson today, we will study the use of polynomials in word problems. This is from Lesson 4-8 in your Algebra Trig 2 book. Let's first look at a rectangle. The rectangle has a length of 3x minus 2 and a width of x plus 5. If I ask you to find the perimeter of this rectangle, then I'm asking you to find the total length of all four sides. Anytime you're asked to find the perimeter, R-I-M, perimeter of a figure, then you're going to walk around the perimeter and measure that full length. The perimeter of this is two lengths plus two widths. The length is 3x minus 2, so we will have 2 times 3x minus 2 plus 2 times x plus 5. Now we can simplify this. This is a polynomial of degree 1. Let's p equals uh, here we use the distributive property. We will have 6x minus 4. And over here, if we also use the distributive property, we will add 2x plus 10. This simplifies to 8x plus 6. So we now have an equation a very simple equation that expresses the perimeter of the yellow rectangle. Now this is just learning to write the equations. An athletic field has dimensions of 30 yards by 100 yards and at each end is an end zone that is W yards wide. I did not label the rectangle. We're going to learn to label this one. Now there are three rectangles, so we will be finding the area of all three rectangles. The length of the total uh, field is the darker green color here that you see. It's a hundred feet. Now that's from one end of the darker green field to the other end of the darker green field. That's 100 feet. No, excuse me, that was yards. So we also have now the width is 30 yards. And of course the width for the larger rectangle is 30 yards, but that is also the width or the length as you would like to call it, for the uh, smaller rectangle. Notice at each end are, is an end zone that is W yards wide. So for the small rectangles, we know that we have a width here of W. And if you want to, you can also write the 30 down here. Now for this problem, though, we are going to find area. Now, area is not the same thing as perimeter. Area is where you multiply the length of the rectangle times its width. Now, we have to do that for three rectangles. And then we will combine those three areas together. Let's look at an end zone. What is the length? of the end zone. It's 30. And what is the width? W. So for one end zone we have 30 W. So for two of those, two end zones, and I'm just abbreviating this, two end zones we will have 60 W. Alright, now then, what is the area for the large green rectangle. Well, its length is 100 yards. Its width was 30 yards. 
So that's 100 times 30. That's 3,000. Now this would be in yards squared. We will write that when we have finished finding the total area. Yards squared will be our final unit of measurement. Now the total area is simply found by adding these together. We have 60W for the two end zones plus 3,000 for the large rectangle. And all of this is in square yards. We have a polynomial expression for the area of an athletic field. Essentially what we have done is just the first two steps in what you will be doing for this, your homework in Lesson 4-8. The first thing to do is to read the problem and the second thing uh, to read the problem and to understand the diagram. You may want to make your own diagram or add some little notes to the ones that you are given. You always do need to look at the diagram carefully. Uh, sometimes the word problems are a little hard to understand if you just read them. That's why quite often the author will also give you a diagram. There are times though that the author will not and you will be expected to understand the word problem well enough to be able to make your own drawing. Well, let's stop now for a second. If you have any questions, stop the video or repeat it as you need. I'm now going to erase most of this and we're going to talk about a circle. The area formula for a circle is pi r squared. We are told that the diameter of the circle is 2x plus 64 feet. Now, it starts on one side and goes across all the way to the other side and it does pass through the center of the circle. 2x plus 64 feet is this diameter. But, as you recall, I did not say diameter when I gave the area formula. The area formula uses pi times the radius squared. So we need the radius. Anytime you want to find the area of a circle, you need the radius. There is a formula that uses the diameter, but I would suggest finding it or using it. What is the radius of this circle? Well, the radius is half of the diameter. Half of 2x plus 64 is x plus 32. So that is the radius that we will use in our area formula. Alright, so here we go. Here is our polynomial. A equals pi parenthesis x plus 32 close the parenthesis squared. That is our formula for the area of this circle. Now we do need to make sure that you know how to multiply this out. I'm going to move the pi, or leave the pi as pi. I'm not going to change it to the numbers right now. You can if you want to. I'm going to leave it. Now remember that an exponent of 2 really means to write the base, which is this parenthesis, write it twice. So write this down twice on your paper and let's see if you can multiply this out. Takes a little bit of work. You can pause the video while you do that work. Or go back and view the video again. And I'm going to give you some uh, problems to do, four, uh, five different problems to do that are very similar to these.